Hey everyone, how's it here? Back with Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin on PS4. As usual, you know, I'm me, and this is game, and yeah. Well, uh, last time we checked out the tutorial, made our stud of a character, and stole a bunch of things from the hub world. It's a hub area thingy. But, all good things must come to an end. And in that case, it means we have to go fight things. Um, the Estus Flask Shard gave us another use of the Estus Flask. It didn't um, like make it plus one or anything. Um, that's undead bone shards that do that. Uh, there's a lot of bloodstains here, because in New Game Plus, that turns into a mimic. So... We'll worry about that when we get there. Um, yeah, so, go... What, what? Well, yeah, vision's a door, but it isn't a door. Um, yeah. So, th this metal grate is sort of here, but it's just really, like, out of place. Like, you would think that someone should be there, or something should be there, but... No. Anywho. Pull this le level with the strength of a thousand bowl-cutted men. And then... Rub your pecs against the door. And... And yeah, you may have noticed there was a very, um noticeable sort of empty space above character's head before he could go through the door that's a common thing and in one of the DLCs that can cause quite a bit of annoyance Jesus Christ almost fell off then human effigy hey I probably need that just in case now you can either go up and just go down the normal path or you can do this Just jump it. Uh, homeward Bones, Soul of a Lust Undead. Soul of Lust Undead. Use that, because I might as well. Uh, give me my hotbar back. Thank you. Put that there. Awesome. Right, oh yeah, binoculars are a weapon now. You actually um, replace one of your weapon slots with uh, binoculars. Enter the Forest of Fallen Giants. I hope the ogre doesn't come and say hi to me. Ah, oh, there you are. Wait. So people like ambushing you, so... Yeah, get used to that. Um... Honestly, pairing's all less viable, as I mentioned before, so... Generally, I will not spend much time trying to parry. Because it's just... Oh, the timing is just so hard to get. Jesus. Yeah, no. I do not have time for this. I'll just beat you to death with a hammer. The only way. Uh, fast travel is available from the very start, but obviously at the very start you won't have any use for it. But once you reach Majula, you can switch, you can travel between the two places instantly. Um, and now that we're in the Forest of Fallen Giants, we can go back to the first two places. Um, the squares at the bottom. Um, there can be up to five bonfires in in an area, so they'll show you what bonfires are in the area and what intensity they are. So if I were to use a bonfire ascetic on this bonfire, it would have the number 2 instead of the number 1 on the Crestfallen's Retreat um, bonfire in the bottom left. So that's fun. But anyway, 
That's enough about that. Jesus Christ, I'm, oh, I'm so off on this. I knew there was a reason I never parried. It's because I suck at it. Um, ow. That hurt. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so group fights in this game are really bad. So I would strongly advise against them. But I am restocked on life gems, so... Yeah, go over here, that'll wake this guy up. He'll fall down. Somehow not take any fall damage, because... Reasons. Um... Yet another mechanic that I should probably cover now, just to get it out of the way, is that dual wielding is a thing now. Weapons actually have different move sets in the left hand, and if you have sufficient strength, I think it's strength and dexterity, or strength or dexterity, depending on the dominant stat for the weapon, um, you can actually power stance, which means you enter a alter an alternate stance uh, with the weapon, and you have a completely different moveset. So this area is kind of annoying when you're starting out, because these guys just sort of... They just keep coming. Oh, that's something else, yeah. Uh, throwing knives are actually useful. There's something I never thought I'd say. But they seriously are. You can actually do some serious damage with throwing knives if you have... Because they're, they're dexterity based, so... If you have the dex to use them effectively, they can actually do some pretty good damage. Jesus is each cruised in a voice uh, There's a guy throwing fire bombs from up high. So if you can avoid getting fire bombed by him, that's great. Gimme. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. That's enough. Uh, in the original version, um, like the non-Scholar of the First Sin version, in like, on, on like on the PS3, there was a Hade Knight just sitting here, and he was a complete bitch to take down this early on. But he did drop his sword. Which, this early on is actually really good. So, you know. It's sort of like, well that sucks, but it's crossed with, okay, that's actually kind of useful. Ragdoll physics are gone, by the way. No more kicking bodies off ledges in a humorous fashion. They just sort of wobble. Now if we climb up here, that guy will come down, so let him come down. And whack him one. Wait, what? Pick up item. Okay, cool. Um, you can heal on ladders. Uh, that includes Estus as well. So if you're on a ladder and you just need to quickly heal and have a break from fighting things, you can climb and heal and then keep climbing. Which is always useful. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. I, I figure if I get them, I might as well use them. I mean, if I die, I can hopefully just come back and pick up my... Souls. But, we'll see. Uh, you gotta jump this gap. I mean, you don't have to, but it's an item. You get a short sword and a soul. So we'll use that. And. How's a short sword? That's at home. Uh, 145. But this does inflict 80 bleed. Yeah. 
And I guess for now, bleed doesn't matter. So... I would demonstrate full damage, but I don't want to die. It, it, it is that bad. Um... Uh, how can I demonstrate it? Um... Okay, well, we'll do this. We'll just chop off this ladder. Oh, I didn't do anything. The one time I'm trying to show it off and it doesn't do anything. Um... This. There. Half health. And it's not like, oh, it does a set 50 damage or 100 damage. It's it, it's percentage based. So even if you had a, like 99 um, vitality, it would still reduce you to that. Hiding place ahead. Well, yeah, I guess. I will heal up though. Just to be safe. And through the fog. Uh, there's a man around that corner. But we shan't bother him just yet. Throw a throwing knife at this fellow. See, look, 130 damage for a throwing knife. That is so much better than what we've had to put up with previously. Uh, yep. Oh, no. Nice try. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Oh, oh right, he's not dead. So that didn't quite go to plan. But behind here are some bolts, so be sure to get those. This guy didn't hear his friends dying. We must punish him for that. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. I'll just heal up. Uh, there should be a dude. Yes. Okay, fine. Don't backstab them. Okay, okay, that's quite enough. Screw parrying. God, it was so easy in Dark Souls 1. Almost impossible in Dark Souls 2, and honestly, number 3 isn't much better when it comes to parrying. That said, maybe I just suck. I'm not going to discount that fact. Maybe I just suck. Can you not? Mate. Thank you. Now grab this. It's a buckler. You need sufficient dexterity to wield it. I do not have that. That guy will shoot arrows at you. Ignore him. He's annoying, but there's nothing you can do about him for now. He's just going to be irritating. Uh, down there is a way to go. If you want. I might do that, actually, because I just remembered there is a fire longsword down there. I forgot he's actually very useful. So, uh, witching urn, they are a throwable item which do magic damage. And heave open the door, like the manly man that you are. And the bonfire with a picture of a goddess or priestess. Uh, this wall here. Hmm? Who are you? No thanks. Um, this wall can be blown up from the other side with a firebomb. If you hit it in the right spot on this side with a firebomb, the fire so damage will carry through the wall and trigger the explosion. So you can open that up early. Who are you? Virchov... Hmm. A lot of effort in that character creator. This is Melentia. So you're just gonna really just 
skip through her dialogue. She says she has to move. She won't move instantly. But, yeah. uh, there's the Wanderer set. There's Lenagrass Key, which she has for some reason. And the Soul Arrow and Heal, if need be. Uh, don't need human effigies, really. I don't need life gems, I have enough already. Amber Herb, you eat them, get your spell uses back. Um, or some. There's varying strengths of herbs. You can buy throwing knives for 100 souls apiece. Uh, bright bug found in marshlands leading to an undead crypt. Funnily enough, they look very similar to the um, the bugs in the intro cinematic. Fragrant branch of yore, twelve thousand, but it depetrifies things. Pharos's lockstone uh, that activates certain mechanisms. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to rest. So this knows that, I mean, I'm pretty sure that when you light a bonfire, it just... You are a chelipid, okay. When, when you light a bonfire, it counts, but, you yeah. know, just being safe. So we've got a homeward bone, excellent. Ah, I knew you were going to aggro. Oh, Jesus. That hurt more than I expected. Please don't do that again. Okay. So. Try jumping off, then hurrah for weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Eventual weapon, thank you very much. Then go down here. Plunging attacks are a thing, thankfully. Okay, okay, you can quite stop it with that. Irritating man. Uh, down ahead and try jumping then all ahead. Yeah, uh, that fire pit is where we need to go to get a um, uh, It's a key because each DLC is, act is um, unlocked via its respective um, access key. And the old iron key is in that fire pit at the bottom. Now this takes us back to the lead up. Um, where there was that guy there. And the guy at the end of the corridor. So this, this can drop you in there if need be. But what we'll do is we'll run and jump. And grab this. And then... Onto the tree root. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't automatically lock on like that. I mean, I know I've told it to, but sometimes it's really counterproductive. Anyway, we got to scale this tree to get up here, so that's fine. But on to the tree. Jumping ahead, not really. Another soul, which we can hopefully pop and not get attacked. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna... No, nope, okay. It's not gonna let me. I want to run back up to the platform to have a safer um, place to fight. But... Apparently it was not to be. Apparently the game did not want me to be safe. <laughs> ah, screw me, right? Anyway, so there's all these... Ashen Fellows. I make a Dark Souls 3 joke, but you know. I don't need to. Uh, much like petrified people from Dark Souls 1, you can't really uh, roll through them. These guys are ironclads. They have incredibly high physical defense. They hit like a truck. Uh, 
Um, they have a four hit combo that I completely forgot. Um, fun fact, their maces can trigger explosions. So if they're exploding barrels near you, these guys can actually trigger them. Which can be used to your advantage if you need to, like an easy way to kill them. Um, you can sort of trick them into hitting an explosive barrel, that does a fair bit of damage. Um, then you're pretty good. But, if there's no exploding barrels around, then you're slightly less lucky. Uh, you can't get into the fire pit from here. You need to actually drop onto the rubble and then go in, but you need the silver cat ring to have any chance of surviving. Uh, you can't get that item yet, you've got to wait till later. Oh, this bit. Okay. There's a fire salamander at the end there. And he's going to shoot fireballs constantly. Come on, in, 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 in. Eh. Oh, Jesus. So he is actually in that fire pit that we saw before that I just sort of talked about with the rubble. So yeah, that sucks because well, I can't really get out of here without dying probably. Good news is I don't need to, I can just warp. I don't usually get this weapon to be perfectly honest. Um. I usually just ignore it because it does split damage so it does less physical but it does equal fire Z78 physical 78 fire damage which is not the greatest but oh I wonder if the fire damage will trigger this I was hopeful ah well man can dream anyway Screwing around aside, drop down here. Now when dropping down a ladder, you have to hold circle down and press down like the analog stick. That was some interesting walking there. Because if you just tap it, you will just sort of fall to your death. You just sort of jump off it. If that's what you're after, that's fine. Just saying. It is a thing. Uh, firebomb. Thank you. Wait, do I have a... Oh, I do. Awesome. Souls! So many souls. Uh, there's a doorway there. We'll go this way first. Kill this fella. Can't go through here because this requires a key. Which we do not have yet. Um, if you go play a status, it shows level, souls, how many souls you need to level up. So we only need 948 to level up. And soul memory. Because every soul you use and collect adds to the total. So we've collected 9,180 souls thus far. And this gives you a whole lot of info, like performance, it tells you how fast your cast speed is, what bonuses you get to fire, lightning, dark and magic, as well as poison and bleed. It tells you your various defences for different elements and your resistance, as well as your agility and poise. It also gives you your defence versus the three different physical attack types. It's kind of useful, and player info tells you your name, your class, what covenant you're a part of, and whether you are a sinner or not. Now, to be classified as a sinner, you need to kill NPCs. Basically, you're a horrible person if you do so. Kill this guy before he gets up. Don't need him. Go through the misty door of mistiness. And you're gonna have arrow shot at you, so... Top tip keep moving. Now you're going to go up here, and there's going to be an ironclad over there. Ignore the ironclad for now, 
and instead leap. That was probably a bit over the top. Probably should leap to this wooden, that wooden platform bit there, but honestly, it's just what worked. You know. Ow. Right. So now that those guys have been cleared out, that guy's going to be really irritating. So you're going to have to go through this place a couple of times. First off, let's take out, take care of Archer. Holy crap, that's in my head. The power of the bowl defendeth me. Anywho, uh, run and jump. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Uh, go along here, there'll be a boulder trap, so don't get whacked by that, because it will kill you! Like, one hit, kind of kill. Oh yeah, um, game options. You can flip the axis, you can reset the y-axis, sensitivity, vibration, uh, make it auto-adjust when it hits a wall, whether you get, like, uh, dramatic effects when you kill, like, attack enemies with a visceral, or whatever you want to call it, parry. Uh, whether it automatically acquires a target when you lock on. Um, automatically target an enemy when attacking without a lock on. You can switch between circle and L3 for jumping. You can switch voice chat. You can allow uh, matchmaking with other countries. It, it, it's pretty good. And screen options are blood, mild, like on, mild or off. Subtitles, HUD, always hidden, always on or hide after a certain amount of time. And brightness adjustment, of course. So there's nothing down here except a pit of death. Be wary of hole. Try jumping. Dicks. Ignore them. Run up here. And there will be that fellow. Ignore him. Sir. some herbs. They'll stop him shooting me for now. Talk to this fellow. Tongue but hot. Mm. Now you know what? I'm, I'm raiding that. <laughs> oh dear. So he's navigating the world to do cartography. Except he has absolutely no idea what the heck he's doing. He tells you about a mansion. Then he gives you a key. Uh, don't go too deep in the mansion. The mansion's not very big, so there's no real chance of that. And then he tells you that, ah, uh, yeah, you'll catch up later. Now, the mansion is in Medulla, and it is near the uh, really big pit. There's a building with a locked door near... Like, it is, there's, like, the armor merchant to the left of it, the cat on the right, and then directly in front of it in the middle is the place with the locked door. And there's nothing really interesting in there. I'm pretty sure there's a Pharos lockstone, but that's about it. Really? And then you want to go up here. And then over here. Hurrah for pointless thin tears. Yes. And then that that hit. That so hit. Anyway. You want to jump down here, and then here, and then oh jeez, no. Oh, there's a guy with the arrow. Okay, so what we want to do is run along here, grab the tight nut shard, and then run back up here, and then drop off because you can't get back up there right now, so you want to go along here, um, kill this guy, he's kind of a dick, um, climb up here, sprinty sprinty sprint, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then run along here, and then boom, you're back on here. 
Now, before you do that again, what you want to do is... Oh! Almost die. <laughs> but grab the torch. And then heal up, because that hurt far more than you would expect it to. Uh, you can jump off there, but you'll die. So I'd recommend just following this little slopey bit, rolling off. Then that's all the items in this little um, area off to the side. You get an NPC, you get healing stuff, you get a key. It's all good. Douchebag's gonna just shoot us. What you're gonna wanna do is get this fellow and trick him. Come on, hit the stuff. Hey! Oh, I forgot he's invincible when he's on the ground. Oh, yeah, running slam. That's a thing. Good news is fire damage hurts them, so that's good. Uh... Oh, he's dead as far as I'm concerned. Uh, do I have any throwing knives? Anything? Okay, cool. I will. I guess I'll use witching urns on this fellow. I don't want to waste my firebomb. Excellent. And then... Uh, oh, piss off already. <sighs> Life gems it is. Come on. You fall. Ow. How did that damage me? Anyway, the reason you want an interruption is because you don't want them to break these barrels. That's your job. So now if you die, you don't need to run all that way. You respawn at the bonfire here, and you just run straight out and continue from where you left off. Now there's two things we can do. We can go back to Medulla and open the mansion. Which is what I'm tempted to do. Or we can trigger the pursuer. And I don't want to trigger the pursuer, but I have to because I want the loot. So here he is, majestic as hell, flying on in. Boop. Bye. And that should trigger into despawn. Thanks. Then because he left, all these guys wake up for some reason. I still haven't quite figured out why that's the case, but it is. Yeah. Anyway, the reason I don't want to kill him now is because there's no benefit to it. Like, you can kill him now to sort of get him out of the way and not have to fight him later, but... You know, you, you kill him now, you miss out on his dramatic introduction cutscene. And, you know, it, it's just... It's just a lot of effort for no benefit. Like, at all. So we got the SS Flask Shard, we got the mansion thing, key thingy, jig, what's my called? And yeah. Oops, what I might do actually is bum 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 bum. bum, bum. Yep. Is that a shard? Is that a shard you found? However, maybe, maybe the thing called an Estus Flask Shard is an Estus Flask Shard. Ugh. Anyway, 
things to do. Oh uh, yeah, she won't turn up until the last giant's been killed. Okay, so Leningrist. He says bring him the key, but he doesn't want the key. No, you need to open his door for him. And then talk to him. And then sit at a bonfire. So then he <laughs> moves into his bloody shop. Honestly, sometimes I wonder, it's just like, gee, could he be any more ungrateful? But anyway, so sit the bonfire, boom, he's redone, he's moved. And he'll just keep hammering, much like Andre, just keep hammering through the entire conversation. Uh, every time you sit a bonfire, your equipment is fully repaired, so... It's always nice, you can, repair, you can reinforce weapons, you can buy new ones, Always nice, longsword, broadsword, falchion, s stock, rapier, battle axe, mace, and spear. Uh, tight nut shards, that cost 8,000? No. no. I'm quite fine with my single, like my unupgraded basic as all hell fire sword. Uh, level up. Give me levels, young lady. At five, six, uh, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, seven levels. Okay. Um, so I can get to sixteen all, which will be good for the scythe later. Um, uh, a tiny bit of poise, maybe. There's no point, really. It's just poise. Armor will deal with that. Um, 8.98 or 8.70. Vit probably would be better. Alright. That'll do. Thanks. So we've leveled up. We have got some stuff. I don't need to reinforce things, but... I would like to. And shields generally get incrementally more uh, protection um, as you go along. So. That's a thing. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't crave anything. I'll be, around. I'll be around if you'll make it back. Geez, someone doesn't have confidence in me. Anyway, we now have a sword that does... 206. No matter what. Yeah, so... The stat screen doesn't really factor in... Um, uh, the damage increase for dual wielding, so... Yeah. Little irritating, I've got to say. I don't understand how that's a hint. There's books. Books with pages that you can't actually read because they're not defined enough. Anyway, after exploring there, you can go along here, you'll hear some weird noises. They're the pigs outside the mansion. You don't have to worry about those. Charging but whole. Yes, indeed. So you go in here, you don't need to be wary of the chest, get a Titanite Shard and a Torch, torches work a bit differently in this game, so keep that in mind, fatty ahead, only if you kill them enough, if you continually kill the small pigs, they will eventually be replaced by a large pig, which has more health and does a fair bit more damage. Be wary of liar. Well, yeah, there's no chest. Uh, 
There's disagreements about whether Kale is actually a bad guy or not. I don't think he is, but some people reckon he actually is. Like, every time you get in, like, you increase the intensity of the, uh, Medulla Bonfire, another, um, another skeleton will spawn. So yeah, that can mean you've got, like, seven to eight skeletons in here. Another Estus Flask Shard, horse, but head. What? Hint ahead in short visions of fire. Yes, there is a broken Lord Vessel on the ground. See, shards of Lord Vessel. It's all on the ground. But in here... ...is a chest. Now... This chest looks special, and there's a reason for that. Uh, when the game came out, there were um, online events held where there would be like a tiny update for the game, and the developers would put a special item into this specific chest. And so um, players on certain days would be able to check the chest and get whatever item. Sadly, however, the time for those events has long since passed. So, now, every time you check it, there will only be a soul vessel. And the soul vessel is only there once, like per playthrough. If you use a bonfire ascetic on the Medulla bonfire, then it will reappear, as will everything else, because that's how it works. But, yeah... You no longer get the um, special items. The good news about that, though, is that most of the items, which are like, the, I think, like the special uh, weapons, like the black flamestone dagger and things like that, they are now purchasable from a an NPC. But I believe only in New Game Plus Two, and that has to be proper New Game Plus Two. Like, not, um, not New Game Plus 2, like, just, um, burning ascetics on a bonfire, but actual New Game Plus 2, you've played through the game, like, three times now. And then, at that point, they're like, okay, you can have this stuff. Well, honestly, the stuff isn't, <laughs> really isn't worth the, um... The time spent. But, um... It's nice, I guess. It, it does give a degree of, um... Replayability. Because, you know, every time... The first playthrough you get some things. And the next one you get some other things. And then the third one you get some other things. The same kind of thing happens with boss souls. Um, the great ones, which are the Rotten, the Lost Sinner, Old Iron King, and Duke's Dear Freya, I believe, um, they have their normal souls, but then in New Game Plus onwards, they also have a second soul that you get, which is a soul of one of the lords from... Dark Souls 1. Old Iron King drops what's ostensibly Gwyn Soul. Okay, you can stop doing that now. Stop it! Uh, Duke's Dear Freya um, in New Game Plus drops uh, Seeker's Soul and uh, The Rotten drops what's meant to be, we believe, Nito's soul, and the Lost Sinner drops the Bed of Chaos, the Chaos Witch um, Lord Soul. Now we do have, at this moment, a Pharos Lockstone. There are... One, two, 
who? Lock stones in here? Like, lock stone things? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, run in here and quickly dash. Because they will shoot those blisters. Oh, he parried me! Dick. That's not cool. Anyway, take care of these fine folks who are just the friendliest of people. Get some more fireballs? Yep, that's cool. Um, run along here. They should have all aggroed. If not, then well, you know what to do. Um, use this, and if you get lucky, it will hit on a certain angle. And see how it sort of... Um, it's not fully accurate. Well... If you're lucky... You can do that. That means that people who throw fire bombs at you over there will be less likely to blow everything up in your face. And... It just makes your life easier, but... The ballistas are inaccurate. Like, for example, this one was fired, and it didn't blow that up when they fired it. So, there are some times where it can take a while for it to actually work, and there's other times where it works straight away, so... You know. Boop. Now, it's dark here. Be wary of trap. Visions of prudence. AKA, be careful. Doesn't work. Okay, so what you want to do is put the lock stone in here. That should light up the wall. Over here, which is where they said, but because we didn't use the stone, the wall wasn't going to play ball with us. Hurrah for brief respite. Yes. So you open this one. I don't know how you died in here, but okay. And you get the Chloranthy Ring. Thank God. Oh yeah, a change in this game also. Four rings, not two. And God, it makes so much sense. You have hands. Why can you only wear two rings on your hands? Oh yeah, Titanite slabs are a lot more common. <laughs> like, you just... Like, I found a slab... In a chest. Yeah. And you can buy them later on, actually, from a merchant. Uh, Petrified Dragonbone. Um, you use that, as I said previously, for boss weapons. Uh, this chest has an item in it, but it's a poison trap. Uh, it's an arrow trap, actually. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was a poison trap. So you get Titan Knight Shard. Uh, try and open this door. It does not open from this side. And this hint tells you exactly what you need to do. You see, that's locked. And you cannot get in there. Like, there's no other way to get in. You can't go through the back. But if you attack it, it wakes them up on the other side. And if all goes well... There we go. They open the door and come and say hi. That is the only way to get into that room. Uh, can I throw a witching at you? Boom. I say, it just took him a while. It's very dark in here. And no one knows why. Doesn't make sense. Oh, is there one of those guys here, is there? I didn't think there was. Maybe. Hmm. Do I have a ground attack? No, there's no one there. Uh, I, I know what they're trying to hint at, but I don't believe one of them is there. Um... 
I'll check with a mace, because that'll do a down downward swing, so... Uh, yeah, no. no. Okay, so, if you wonder what the hell I'm mumbling about, there are these invisible guys, and they can only be seen like when you have a torch, they cast a shadow. Or if you're running into a wall, they'll sort of block your way, but you can't see them otherwise. And they can be quite irritating. But anyway, uh, that's the first sort of part of the Forest of Fallen Giants. Hope you're enjoying. When next? When, blah, blah, blah. when in the next episode, I should say, we will be uh, traipsing off to unlock the way back to the bonfire and. You know, unlocking doors and getting a route to the boss. So, so hope to see you then. Later.